you're looking for a free video editor to create videos for YouTube or any other purpose, you have many choices. So coming up, based on my testing, I'll count down the top five best free video editing software for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. To qualify, the program must not have any branded watermarks or time limits and allow for the exports of your projects in HD up to 4K. Let's get started. Starting off our countdown, coming in at number five is VSDC. For Windows only, this nonlinear video editor is similar to expensive programs like Final Cut Pro and Premiere Pro. First released in 2011, they've made considerable improvements to their interface and includes tons of features. Some of those features include the ability to add audio and visual effects and transitions. There's a motion tracking tool, support for most of the popular audio and image format types, and just like the others coming up, allows for the export of your projects in HD and 4K. VSDC is more than just a video editor. When you launch it, your choices are blank project, create slideshow, import content, video capture, and screen capture, along with how-to guides for its top features. To quickly begin a new project, select blank project. In the pop-up window, give your project a name. You can leave the rest of these blank. The others you may need to change are the output resolution and the frame rate. When you're done, click on finish. For those of you familiar with the old interface, you'll notice it's much improved. As I mentioned earlier, the user interface for VSDC has improved quite a bit and it's more intuitive than it used to be. There is a slight learning curve, but it's not too difficult. I'd recommend that you check out their how-to section on their site with tutorials in various categories that will help you out when getting started. Coming in at number four is OpenShot. First released in 2008, this free and open source video editor is a great choice for beginners with less of a learning curve than most of the others mentioned in this video. It has a good set of features. Some of those include audio and video effects, a large number of transitions, 3D animations. There's no limit to the number of layers you can have and it supports most file types. The user layout is designed very well. To add clips to your videos, select project files, go find the clips on your computer that you'd like to add and drag and drop them into the box. Click those files and drag them onto the timeline. To add a transition between two clips, select the Transitions tab. There's many to choose from. Left click a transition and drag it down to the timeline. To increase or decrease the transition, go to either side, look for the double arrows, then left click and drag it to the desired length. Left click and drop it onto the end of the first clip. Then take that second clip and drag it over the transition. Let's see how that looks. While OpenShot has improved quite a bit, fixing a lot of the bugs that used to make it crash and have performance issues, users with low system specs are still experiencing some lag and other issues. Otherwise, if you have a computer that can handle it, it's a great program. OpenShot is available for Windows, Mac OS, Linux, and now offers support for Chrome OS. Coming in at number three is Shotcut. This free and open source program is another one that's been around for a while. Having been in development since 2004, its initial release was in 2011. This simple to use video editor is what we first used when producing videos for YouTube. It offers support for most of the popular audio, image, and video file formats with resolution support up to 4K. The video effects include various filters, color correction tools, along with compositing and blending modes. One downside is the number of transitions offered is limited. And beginners will appreciate how easy it is to work with their timeline when compared to more complicated programs when adding and editing clips and working with multiple tracks. The learning curve to use Shotcut is moderate, but in a short time it becomes very intuitive. For example, adding a crossfade is simple. First, drag a clip from your file manager onto the timeline. Add your second clip to the end of the first. Now left click and drag the second clip near the end of the first and let go. Playing it back, you'll now see the crossfade between those two clips that was easy to set up. Shotcut is available on all three of the major platforms, Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Before we get to our top two, here's some bonus picks not making our top five that for some of you might be worth your time to check out. Available for Windows and Mac OS, 
cap cut from the folks at ByteDance, the current owners of TikTok, is one that gets mentioned quite a bit by influencers. As many of you know, we don't do paid sponsorships, so I'll tell you honestly why we don't recommend it. While it does have a decent feature set, too many of its features are locked behind a paywall, and for free, CapCut slaps their branded watermark on your exported projects. For macOS and iOS only, Apple iMovie is a bare-bones video editor for those of you looking for something quick and easy to use for simple projects. Blender, one of our favorite open-source 3D creation programs, has a built-in video editor. It has a good amount of basic tools that might work well for your video editing projects. It's available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Available for Windows, Mac, and Linux, Lightworks at one time, years ago, was one of our favorites. Used in many popular Hollywood productions, their free license has too many restrictions to be considered for our top five, including their export resolution limit of up to 720p. And ClipChamp, which is now owned by Microsoft, is an online browser-based video editor that's also often promoted by influencers. Like CapCut mentioned earlier, it does have a good amount of features, many of which are locked behind a paywall. ClipChamp does require that you have an internet connection to use it, so if your internet goes down, you can't use it at all. While they do allow for exports up to 1080p for free, they only allow exports up to 480p without their watermark on your projects. Back to the countdown, in the runner-up spot, coming in at number two, is Kden Live. This free and open source program, released in 2008, is very similar to Shotcut, but with more features. In the last few years, it's stepped up its game and has improved quite a bit. It allows for multi-track editing, supports just about any audio or video file you throw at it, and the interface can be customized in a layout that works best for you. Also included are dozens of audio and video effects and transitions. In addition, the theme can be changed to one of the various light and dark themes built in. Loading clips into your project is simple. With the project bin selected, drag and drop them into the box, then drag and drop them down to the timeline. If you'd like to change the color theme for the interface, go to settings here at the top, color theme, and select your theme. To learn how to use Kden Live, they've got a manual on their site with a quick start guide and tutorials. Kden Live is available for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. In an update to last year's video, in addition to older Intel-based Macs, it now supports newer M-series Apple Silicon chips as well. In the top spot, coming in at number one, DaVinci Resolve is the best free video editing software. Released in 2004, it's actively in development by Blackmagic Design, based in Australia, and is used in many blockbuster Hollywood productions. Their free edition is so feature-packed, even more so than most paid video editors, it's amazing it's still free. It has so many great features, we could spend all day talking about them. Their fusion effects built in lets you create film quality motion graphics and visual effects. It includes more than 100 of their Fairlight tools for audio post-production, and it supports all major file formats and resolutions up to 4K with no forced watermarks, time limits, or any other crap. It has a great layout that looks modern. For those of you asking how to add transitions using DaVinci Resolve, here's your mini tutorial. After you've added your clips to the timeline, click edit here at the bottom of the window. Now drag and drop one of your clips over the top of the other. In the toolbar at the top, select the effects library. As you can see, it's already selected. Scroll down to video transitions and select the one you want. Let's go with barn door. Left click and drag it to the portion of the clip overlapping the other and let go. You'll now see a small box on top of the clip. If you left click and drag the outermost edge, you can change the length of the transition. Let's preview it. I won't sugarcoat this. DaVinci Resolve has a very steep learning curve, but once you get familiar with it, it becomes easier to use. Do as I did when getting started. Watch the numerous training videos on their site and you'll be fully competent in very little time. DaVinci Resolve has two versions. DaVinci Resolve is free and DaVinci Resolve Studio will cost you $295. For 99.9% .9 of people, the free version will be all that they need. It's available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Thanks for watching. Links are in the description. If you are looking for a free video editing program and this video helped you out, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. In the comments, let me know what video editor you plan to use and for what purpose. 
And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and click the bell to not miss out on our latest top fives and other tech-related stuff.